uh, so blepharitis uh, it's the inflammation uh, of the eyelids usually chronic in nature and there's uh, many types I already told you in the, la in the last episode uh, but the management depends uh, usually upon both the type uh, and eventually the cause and also this uh, the degree of severity right so there are usually three degrees of severity mild moderate and uh, severe in the case of mild blepharitis what you will see you will see crustings these crustings could be white flakes in the cases of squamous blepharitis or it could be uh, yellow uh, crusts uh, in the case of ulcerative blepharitis also there could be thickened eyelid margins which are also termed tylosis this is a common complication of ulcerative blepharitis so crustings and tylosis these feature mild blepharitis and the treatment for this is usually uh, taking care of eyelid hygiene right and uh, giving warm compresses over it and uh, some marginal scrubs are there in the market uh, which will peel off those cr crustings of the eyelids and you can also use artificial tears of course without preservatives because preservatives usually trigger allergic conjunctivitis you know you need to, you need to avoid that uh, also uh, you can use topical antibiotics either in the ointment or uh, liquid form then you have moderate type in moderate type there are two things uh, either the oil glands usually the mammalian gland is the largest eye gland uh, eyelid gland uh, which is also a tarsal plate gland which, which secretes sebaceous uh, material uh, for the tear film that gland can get inflamed that gland can get thick so the inspissation of that oil gland or thickness of uh, thickening of that oil gland also is a type of blepharitis called posterior blepharitis and also called mebumianitis right it is different from Kelezion. Kelezion is different, different entity. Uh, also, you can find telangiectasias uh, over the uh, eyelid margins, right? Uh, you, this, this, is a typ this is a typical feature of ulcerative blepharitis. So, in this case, in moderate blepharitis, you will give warm compresses and uh, artificial tears. Along with that, you will add some specific topical antibiotics. There are three in number. Number one is azithromycin, number two is bacitracin, and number three is erythromycin. Fine? In the severe type, you will see some severe complications, for example, corneal invasion. Corneal stroma is infiltrated, right? So you may see keratitis. You may see conjunctival uh, inflammation, conjunctivitis, various types. You can see vascularization of the cornea. Uh, uh, sorry, of the conjunctiva, uh, also of the iris, if it's deep enough. And you can also see on the surrounding skin, skin rosacea, right? Which is a chronic uh, inflammatory process, quite idiopathic, uh, usually in women uh, in their mid-30s. And also a complication of skin rosacea, that is rhinophyma, right? That is thickening of the nose, which is, it is most, most commonly due to rosacea and in usually men. It's called, it causes a, a loss of cosmesis. For that, you need a surgery, right? So in this case, if it's severe enough, having many complications on the skin and in the eye itself, you will use oral antibiotics. Switch to oral antibiotics, right? For example, doxycycline, minocycline, and azithromycin. Give topical steroids for short term only. You do not need to uh, just worsen the condition, right? For short term only, give topical steroids if this inflammation is severe enough. And you can also give topical antibiotics if you think uh, they'll work. This is all for the management of blepharitis, depending upon the degree of severity. Please subscribe to the channel. That will help me a lot. Signing off.